In this lesson, you're going to learn about how where you live impacts on the decision on which Amazon marketplace you choose. Amazon has numerous marketplaces around the world and they have plans to add even more. The USA marketplace is by far the largest. However, both the UK and German markets are growing at a rapid pace. So, which marketplace do you choose? Generally speaking, we highly recommend you begin your physical products business in the USA. And this applies to nearly all countries. However, there are some exceptions which we will get to. But first, let's take a look at why we recommend the USA. It is by far the biggest marketplace Amazon has currently. And it is highly unlikely any other country will ever outstrip it. So your products will have a much larger audience. And because of this, it will have the highest volume of traffic and sales. This means that it's much easier to test your product and your marketing. And this is because everything happens much faster. Now, in addition, USA consumers trust online purchasing more than any other country. So, if you are in the number one position in the same categories in the USA and another country, your sales will be far higher than the population difference suggests. For instance, the USA has roughly a population of five times that of the UK. However, if your product was number one in the same category in both the US and the UK, your sales in the US will be far higher than the five times multiplier suggests. Now, USA customers are also more accustomed to giving reviews and feedback. So the ratio of reviews and feedback to number of sales is much higher. And they also tend to be far more objective in their feedback and their reviews. However, if you live in an EU country, then there are options. Previously, previously we have always recommended the USA even if you live in the EU. However, over the past 18 months or so, things have started to change in the EU marketplaces. Both the UK and German markets have seen significant growth over the past 18 months or so. It is now faster and easier to test products and marketing. Most importantly, the competition has not grown at the same rate. So this fairly recent disparity in growth between sales and competition means it is a much more attractive option. Now, this new opportunity only really applies if you live in the UK or in Germany, and to a lesser extent, other EU countries. This is because of the convenience factor. So, when you add the convenience factor to the new growth, it definitely becomes comparable to the USA. So, let's take a look at what the convenience factor is. Firstly, you can receive shipments before sending them to Amazon. In other words, if you're in the UK or Germany and you're going to sell in the UK or Germany, then you can have your inventory sent to you for you to inspect before you then send the products into Amazon themselves. It's also easier to get reviews because you'll be able to use friends and family to get your initial reviews. Local terminology. Living in the same country as you are selling in obviously gives you advantage when it comes to language and specifically on certain terminology. And this can even apply if you live in the UK, because although English is the main language of the UK and the USA, you will still find differences. And this is especially important with your listing and keywords. For instance, in America, the most common name for mother is mom, M-O-M, whereas in the UK, it's M-U-M. Now, this might not appear to make much of a difference, but when it comes to your listing and your title, and especially your keywords, it is very important. For instance, if you were selling in the UK and your product was related to mothers and you used MOM, mom, then there would be very few people searching for that main keyword. So, because you live in the UK, you would know that it should be mom, M-U-M. Now, don't worry too much about this. We will be going into keywords and your listing in much greater detail in a future module. It's more of an example of explaining why local terminology is important. Local tax. It can be much easier if you're paying tax on your profit in the same country as you're selling in. And while it's not a massive factor, it's still another small advantage to selling in the same country as you live in. If you're selling your products locally, in other words, in the same country, then you're probably gonna feel more connected to your product than you would be if you were selling it in another country. 
So the choice. If you live in the UK, we recommend you start in the UK. If you live in Germany, we recommend you start in Germany. If you live in other EU countries, you can actually start in any of the three countries, so the US, the UK or Germany. However, you want to make sure that if you do decide to sell in the UK or Germany, that you still have the convenience factors we've mentioned. If not, then sell in the USA to begin with. Now, this is our recommendation. At the end of the day, the choice is yours. If you have any doubts at all, then start in the USA. So to recap, the USA is by far the largest market. If you live in the UK or Germany, your local market is a viable option for you for sure. If you live in another EU country, Germany and the UK are still viable options if the convenience factors apply to you. Anywhere else, we recommend you start selling in the USA. Remember, you can always expand later. So if you live in the UK and you start in the UK, you can always expand to selling in the US or Germany, for instance, once your product's up and running and you've started building your successful business. So what is next? So now you understand the differences in the marketplaces and why it matters where you live. In the next lesson, you are going to learn about Seller Central and what you need to open an account. But that's it for this lesson. Take care.